So this is a Frisbee. I've tilted it on an angle a little bit so we can see that I enter the Frisbee. And there are two sets of streamlines. The first one is in blue. The second one is in red. The interesting thing to note is that the blue ones, which are the first set, they go over the front of the Frisbee and they go over and accelerate and decelerate and uh, meet again. But then they go completely under the rear of the Frisbee, whereas the red ones go completely over the top of the Frisbee and then hit the back of the Frisbee. So that means that this exact flow that goes over the front does not hit the back of the Frisbee. Another cool thing to see is that the front of the Frisbee, the top of it, has a much lower pressure than on the back, which indicates that potentially the, the front is producing a lot more lift than the rear of the Frisbee. And then swing around to have a much better view of the streamlines. So again, you can see that the two sets of streamlines don't really interact until they clear the Frisbee completely. And the pressure distribution underneath the Frisbee is fairly simple. It's not that difference, which indicates that the front of the Frisbee is actually producing a lot more lift than the rear of the Frisbee. The front does more of the work. And then you have the stagnation region here. So the much higher pressure, which creates a lot of the drag when you compare it to the rear of the Frisbee. Now this is the X-plane at the very front of the Frisbee and it shows the U velocity, so the free stream velocity. And as I play, the video is going to be moving back over the Frisbee. Now, the first thing to, that's really cool is you see just how much the flow is accelerated. So it's really red here, which shows that it's much higher velocity. And as you go over the rest of the Frisbee, so for example, uh, just here, you see that there's not that much acceleration. And the reason why there's such a big difference between the front and the middle of the Frisbee is that at the front, the effectively the profile that the flow sees is much more curved. It's much, the cord is shorter. So there's much more rounded than the actual Frisbee. At this region here, the flow is pretty much traveling directly um, parallel to the rest of the Frisbee. So there's actually no curvature that the flow is seeing in the free stream direction. And as you swing around to the rear of the Frisbee, there's going to be a greater, um, so it's an increase in velocity here, but not as much as the front, which was indicates that um, we saw earlier with the streamlines and the pressure distribution that the front of the Frisbee is producing a lot more lift than the rear of the Frisbee. And then you get a better idea of the wake size here. So it effectively is the entire width of the Frisbee and the height. And the flow develops a little bit afterwards. And this video is the Y plane. So it's going from the left side of the Frisbee to the right side of the Frisbee. And again, it's showing the free stream velocity. So already we're over part of the Frisbee and you can see the flow accelerated a little bit at the, at the effect of the leading edge. And then it stays fairly high and then it decelerates as it goes past the, um, I guess the trailing edge you could say. And this is about, just here is about halfway, maybe a little bit less. This is about halfway here now. Uh, over the frisbee and you can see what we saw in the x plane which is get a huge um, acceleration over the, the front of the frisbee and not as much over the back of the frisbee and the wake behind the front of the frisbee is not nearly as big as at the back and that's because at the back you have the wake from the front and the back together remember those two sets of streamlines that went over and then at the back they're all together so this is effectively two wakes that have now formed into one This is now the Z plane. So it's going from the bottom of the Frisbee up to the top of the Frisbee and it shows the Y velocity. So the Y velocity is the velocity from left to right or right to left. So effectively top to bottom. And red means it's going to the top, which is the right of the Frisbee. And blue means it's going to the bottom of the screen, which is the left of the Frisbee. And as we increase the plane, we see a pretty uh, expected phenomenon, which is the flow gets pushed out away from the Frisbee and then towards the rear of the Frisbee, it gets pulled back in. So that's why we get these two localized um, highs and lows. And then this ex exaggerates, um, it's exaggerated as you go up the Frisbee. So now we're at about, I guess, halfway um, up the Frisbee and the flow is being pushed out at the front and then it gets pulled back in as you'd expect.
And you get some cool little patterns happening there. This is the exact same plane, but now it's the Z velocity. So this is the velocity uh, up and down through the Frisbee. So either into the page or out of the page. And the blue means it's going down into the page. The red or yellow means it's coming out of the page. And at the front here, and so these two regions here, the front of the, let's say the front of the leading edge and the front of the rear leading edge, um, when they're blue, it means that the flow is going underneath the frisbee. When it's red, it means the flow is going over the frisbee. And that's important because it denotes where the stagnation line is on the frisbee. And that stagnation line is where the flow hits and theoretically it decelerates to zero. So the, there's no flow movement at that point. So as we go up the frisbee, you can see that the flow travels down a lot more underneath the frisbee and then back up at the rear of it. And cool, around the sides, it comes back up a little bit. And now just that we changed from going underneath the Frisbee, so you have blue, to going over the Frisbee, red. And then this pattern here is um, really expected as we've been saying all along, where you have, as you go over the front of the Frisbee, you get this accelerated flow. Then in, I guess about halfway or so, it starts to decelerate. So it goes down as it follows the curvature. 